Hello everybody, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and this is going to be my review for Season 4, Episode 19 of Arrow, and <clears throat> this episode was called, appropriately enough, Canary Cry, and, and of course, uh, full spoilers for this episode if you haven't seen it, so please watch this episode before you watch my review. So, all right, there's the spoiler warning onto this episode. So, uh, my his my my relationship with Arrow has been through has been through so many ups and downs. It's like it's like watching it's like watching the history of the uh, of the of the LA Clippers. <clears throat> And uh, if you are a basketball fan, don't judge me for making that joke because I know nothing about sports, but that was my poor attempt to make an analogy. Anyways, uh, I liked this episode. Uh, it shows that Laurel really, truly, actually is dead, and I liked seeing everyone's reaction for it. And my biggest takeaway for this is I liked that Oliver wasn't completely as brooding anymore i liked that he was that oddly enough that he was the voice of reason and i know that diggle always for most of the show or at least up until this point it always looked like diggle was the voice of the reason for this show but now it seemed like oliver seems to be taking that spot and in that way he is like a millistep closer to being like the actual green arrow in the comics and i'm i'm enjoying seeing that and but the one thing in this episode that really stood out was quentin uh, just seeing him in denial was absolutely heartbreaking uh seeing how much he wants doesn't want to believe that laurel is dead because he saw sarah come back and now he has to see his other daughter die again and yeah, see, and his Paul Blackthorne's performance was just amazing this episode, and uh, uh, and yeah, you really felt the emotion in all of his scenes. And yeah, I, I liked those, and I also liked seeing the scenes between. Yeah, for the first time, I'm gonna say I actually liked seeing the scenes with Felicity. And, yeah, with the scenes with Felicity and um, and Diggle, the way that she didn't want, the way that she kept, how at first she let Diggle take the blame, uh, because so that she wouldn't feel the guilt herself, and then later on they made it so that she later on apologized to John, which is still confuses me a little bit because I know she wasn't there but meh and I liked that one scene between her and Oliver when he said that <clears throat> he kept blaming himself so that he had so that there would be an answer for everything going on but then it turns out there was but now this time for Laurel's death there really is no answer and I like to see Nyssa come back, seeing her back for Laurel's funeral. And I also really liked seeing the flashbacks for what I guess would be season 1.5 before Oliver went to the island in the beginning of season 2. Uh, and we got to see the aftermath of Tommy's death, which we haven't seen in a very, very, very long time. So at least they're starting to acknowledge that again, and uh, really shows you just how far this show has progressed, and uh, and some others would say how far this show has uh, has devolved into the state it is into the state it's in now. But anyways, it's but this episode was pretty good, and I liked. Uh, but then the one part that really got me mad was the Black Canary thing. It was the new Black Canary impersonator and how they kept mentioning something about Reddington 
and that for the longest time that didn't ring any bells with me at all until they said talked about uh i forgot what it was but um uh yeah i really don't remember much about reddington at all so until it was the place and then later on it was revealed that it was the place where damien dark held everyone hostage after he uh after dark crashed oliver's uh party at the uh at his uh office where his mural campaign was so now or so now it felt like this episode was just everyone dealing the aftermath uh and, and i liked how we saw tommy's funeral at the beginning and now it, we see laurel's funeral at the end and it tied everything together and it showed it showed laurel uh i mean it showed that scene of where barry came back from that one scene from the beginning so and then that second scene with felicity in the limo and now we got to see extended versions of those scenes and so now we are officially caught up in the present timeline and so now i'm wondering what's going to happen next week in the preview for next week we see we get to see uh john confront uh, and he gets to meet up with andy again so i wonder how they're going to go through that situation and so far yeah i mean arrow to me it has never felt satisfying to watch like the last time i felt like i felt like so hyped up saying oh fuck yeah after an episode that was after the episode it was two weeks in a row like the one when roy came back for that one episode and next was when was when uh he was when oliver cut off um malcolm's hand so it was during those episodes that I that I last felt like Arrow was amazing, and so far I just thought, okay, it's solid. Like right for right now, it is solid. So I, I give this episode I give this episode a seven point five out of ten. I thought it was pr it was decent. You know, there was, wasn't a lot that made me hate it. There wasn't a lot that made me say uh, there were some a few standout moments, but overall just pretty solid. So anyways, yeah, so I'll see you uh, for next week's episode. And uh, so yeah, season's wrapping up soon. I hope that they can get me really excited and hyped up again like The Flash has been able to. But then again, I know that that's asking too much. But once again, I can't hold out hope completely. Or at least I hope that I don't lose hope, if that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can... Check out my weekly podcast on the N4G TV YouTube channel, and you can support my channel on Patreon. I would appreciate it if you check that out. So anyways, that's it, and I'll see you uh, for the Legends of Tomorrow episode uh, next week. All right. For, I, what am I saying? Yeah. So tomorrow, you'll see me review Leg the episode of Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. Tom Legends of Tomorrow will be tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. Bye.